It's about to go, about to go down. You, 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 you are listening to this is number one. WPRD 98.3 GCOM Radio. Powered by Lifeblood.com and hosted by You are listening to the incredible Nova Phoenix and LK Mason. LK Mason. What is going on, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. This is Nova Phoenix from WPRD 98.3 GCOM Radio, and we have a special episode for you guys right now. It is the 10th episode. Yes, that's right, the 10th episode. Me and La has been doing it for 10 episodes strong, and it's been a beautiful thing. It may not be a lot to you, but we've come a long way so far in our 10th. So for this episode, we're going to have a couple of artists uh, that have submitted the music in previous episodes. We have Lil David Ruffin. We have QT Jazz. We have Lil Shady. We have King Kami and Urban Republic talking a little bit about themselves and where they're from and what they have in store and music they have um, played previously and some new joints. So come check this out. This is In the Phone Zone with GCOM Radio. Enjoy it for all the tunes that we got for you and the fun that we're having. Thank you for tuning in and uh, check this out. Hello. You're in the phone zone. With Nova Phoenix and LK Mason on GCOM Radio. This is WPRD 98.3 GCOM Radio with Nova Phoenix and my girl, AK LK Mason. What's up, lady? What's up, man? All right. We are here with a special episode with some artists that have played their music before on the show. They're great artists with great music, and we are going to get into this special little episode with them. We have Urban Republic in the first segment. What's up, Dewey the Don, Nova Kane? What's good? No. What up? Okay, okay. Now, we're going to get into a flash question, as you know, uh, and you're going to answer as quick as you can. It's going to be Dewey the Don first, Nova Kane the next. Keep up. This is how we're going to do it. In 60 seconds, you cannot skip the question you got to answer it with the first thing that comes to mind are we ready to go yeah let's get it yes sir okay let's do this now okay starting what is your favorite food to recommend to someone favorite food soul food all day baby you gotta feed that soul okay do you have a sweet tooth uh, all day super sweet tooth love all kind of baked goods okay brownie or cheesecake brownie cheesecake. oh my fault <laughs> hey, what like, do you love having <laughs> it's so good. What do you love having while recording? Uh, Powerade. Okay. What's the most interesting thing you read or seen this week? Uh, Charlemagne the God's uh, book, his first book. Okay. A quirky behavior that people told you consistently about to stop? Uh, putting my, uh, playing in my hair. Okay. IG or Facebook? IG, baby. If you could take gum out of the mouth of a celebrity and continue chewing it, who would it be? Oh, hell no. Me, me along. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. With the <laughs> Might not work that good. <laughs> right. He's a, he said, I think it was no case. He was like, oh, hell no. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, all right. So we're just going to get into uh, uh, you guys, uh, Urban Republic. Now, name and place of residence, Urban Republic, as we all know, place of residence. Urban Republic, man, our place of residence right now is Hot Leonard, Georgia, but you know we represent in Killer City, Kansas. That's where we're uh, from, home, County. you know what I mean? Born and raised, okay. man, crying that kind of day, man. That's what's up, that's what's up. Okay, so a brief story about you guys, how did you get, guys get started? Shoot, sure, we, uh, ahead, no. okay, went to high school together, started working at uh, Sonic Drive-In, uh, I had been rapping, do we want to start rapping? Uh, we basically, after, you know, working together so much, we just started linking up and doing music together. I ain't looked back since. Mm, so I say, mm, mm. And we just, we've just been here growing together as men, as brothers, and pushing each other to be better musicians and better just all around men. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother, man. So sure. this is family. Mm. 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 Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. 
Uh, so what guy, what project are you guys working on now? Shit, man. Actually, bro, we just uh, recently just dropped two solo projects. Um, and the project that we dropped before that as a collaborative was Killer City for a Reason. I just dropped You Don't Know Me Like That. And Nova, he just dropped True yeah. Vibes. And, and everything, all those all those uh, projects are out on all the uh, streaming platforms right now. Yes, sir. Mm. We did about mm. we did about like twenty thousand on SoundCloud like the first two weeks. Okay, wow, wow. That's what's okay. up. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, ain't, it ain't it ain't Takashi six nine numbers, but we you know what I mean we so work on the way. Working, but you do it with no gimmick, with no yeah, gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With no rainbow here, rainbow front. Not not like yeah, that. that. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so what mark would you like to leave with your music? Um, authenticity, realism, um, just encapsulating, just feeling like, you know, being able to be a part of someone's daily life and process as they try to attain whatever goals that they have for themselves. That's pretty much what our music is about. It's just that grind, that hustle, like being able to overcome all the circumstances that you may be put forth in. You're basically crowning your struggle. Mm, mm, and, and I just, and the, the art of storytelling, right? So, you know, from the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks, you know what I'm saying? So just being able to reflect upon our life, the past, the present, and the future, and encapsulate that in the music, and, you know, move people with that, man. But the art of storytelling, baby. You know? Mm, 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 okay. And uh, with that being said, with the sea of artists that are out there with music streaming, YouTube, and how, how you know, the digital landscape, how do you set yourself apart from the rest? Standing on our own, yeah. being the fact that we are extremely independent um, from me, you know what I mean, doing the audio engineering, all of our creative uh, design direction comes from our internal production team, as well as just cutting through all of the noise by what Nova said, rely more on our authentic sound and not necessarily trying to conform and blend in with the now, but creating what the future is going to sound like, and that's Urban Republic. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. So with the two of you guys, what's your writing process like? I mean, it, it, it's uh, it's a little different for me. I probably write in the most strangest of places like the bathroom or I think of stuff in my car when I'm driving around or like, whatever I think of something, I just try to jot it down, record it down. So I, I pretty much write anywhere, wherever, so... Okay. And with me, okay. like, like my, my style kind of evolved. Like, I really don't write too much down. What I do is uh, the voice memo app on my phone is my best friend. So I pull up a beat, and I just freestyle over the beat and just pick out the parts I like, send it to Nova. I get that approval, and then that's, you know, how we do it for songs. Like, the two projects we just dropped, we got the beat, wrote the songs. I mixed and mastered them all within less of 30 days. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay. That's how, that's how we work. Yeah. <laughs> Get it. Get oh, it. Okay. And then um, last question is, what do you think is missing in the writing process with a lot of uh, rap artists today? People not rewriting. People not yeah. making sure that, like, like not the fact that you ain't got to be so meticulous that you don't never put nothing out, but make sure what you're putting out is quality the inflections of your voice your ad libs how to read like yeah. everything matters you know what i'm saying like most of the most of the time nowadays it's, it's the sound around the lyrics that is carrying the song so your sound got to be on point you know what i'm saying like how you approach the song matters you know mm, 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 yeah mm, everything's so mm. microwave these days it's not an actual process anymore <laughs> mm, mm. So, oh, and also, uh, lastly, yeah. lastly, the big back off of that is collaborating, bro. Like, you can't be working in a box, man. You got to, like, the more ears you got, the more suggestions you got, not necessarily just writing for you, but just being able to have certain input, that that also creates the next level. That's how the pros do it. That's how the professionals do it. They not in there by themselves. It might be a crew of people in there, you know what I'm saying? So just being able to get that instant feedback so you can perfect it before you even drop it. You know what I mean? And yeah, I, I, I get that. I get that. That's mad. That's love. That's love. Uh, so let me ask one more question right. for the ladies. Are you single? Oh, 
Yes, I am. Eligible back. You know, okay. no, I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I, got, I got an old lady. I got three girls. Girls want my world, you know what I'm saying? But I, I love women. If y'all need any, you know, advice from a man's perspective, it ain't going to be on no Steve Harvey tip, but holla at your boy. You know what I Hey, 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 hey. So, Melody, you said that you're single. What type of woman are you looking for? Uh, just a strong, beautiful, like, beautiful mind. I think so So many times we get caught into the physical sense, but, and which is, you know, always something. It was a plus, but somebody who's got a strong drive, strong mind, and just a beautiful spirit, like, and deeper than just, you know, looks, so. So I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty deep person, so. That backbone, baby. You got to be yeah. long, man. <laughs> hey, what's the yeah, somebody, come, somebody come scoop this man up. Hey, man, yeah, man. <laughs> create, create it out here, man. I'm trying to get like, hey. yeah, I'm to get like my breath. Yeah, look, turn look, off, no rush, no rush, no rush. Turn right. off, <laughs> number one is, is uh, insecurity, right? So, like, any woman that's not sure of herself, like, you can look however, do whatever, but as long as you confident in yourself, baby, we can move. You know what I'm saying? But hey. I don't, you know, like, you you got to you gotta be your first set of reassurance, and that also comes from your mate, man. But to me, a big turnoff is that insecurity and that jealousy. You know what I'm saying? We got to be able to move because yeah. the world is a crazy place, and the world will conform against you when they know that you got something good, so you got to be strong. Yep. Right, and I right. Was, I'll take you back on that and say the that coupled with in, inconsistency. Got to be with someone who's consistent, who's willing to show up even when it get rough, and not run exactly. away from it. If we trying to build something, so mm. it go, mm. I mean, it's gonna get real. It's gonna get real. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. You got another question, Lon? No, I'm good. I'm just gonna say, you know. You better watch yourself, dude. You talking about your taking and you talking like that. The lady's going to be all over you, man. <laughs> hey, man. I, I just want to throw a disclaimer out there. I'm not responsible for any damages that you get from my, my old wow. lady. Wow. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot be responsible or approach at your own risk. Lady, get me from afar. Right. I, I, how you doing, bye? On the <laughs> okay, I got a question. I got one last question. So, would you be yeah. comfortable enough if your lady was in the business and she had a scene with Morris Chestnut? Can you deal with that? Hey, man, honestly, bro, one thing I'm going to tell you about my old lady that don't, a lot of people know, my old lady, she come from the industry. Her daddy was prodigy of my deep, you know what I'm saying? So, like, mm. she built, you know what I mean? She she came up into it, but me, I'm comfortable, dog. Go ahead and get that more text nut, uh, paycheck so we can come back and, and finish exactly. our basement, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Exactly. Mm. Get your, get it. Exactly. I agree, <laughs> I agree. Much. Right. I'm going to be doing, right. Can you do it, Noah? Matter of fact, yeah. I'm going to get about when I like Make it look real. It don't look real enough. Make it look real. You need that shit. <laughs> <love it. laughs> now, I just I understand that it's part of the creativity. And I'm also in an industry that's going to probably put me in situations that I got to be creative and be doing scenes and different stuff like that. So, now nah, I'm, I'm with it, man. Okay. 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 All right. Well, um, we appreciate you guys coming on and, and, and sharing yourself with the audience. Um, for the song that you did submit or anything that you uh, gave to La, uh, we would open it up to you guys to introduce it. Uh, what's the song you have for us? Well, I know, I know we got that so high queued up because that is one of the Queen's favorites. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I also, yes. I also sent in a couple of songs from um, our our two uh, latest releases. So I don't know which one she's gonna play. But definitely, we got that so high coming, you know what I'm talking about? And coming off of the topic of talking about your mates, you want someone that's going to keep you on that natural high. So this is yes, what that's sir. all about. Yes, Earth Republic, so high, baby. Yeah. So high. Yes, sir. She was getting high when the money came. 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 She was getting high when the money came.
Dressed like that. I ain't got my What are you like talking about? Hour, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you talking about? Where is my weed? I had three bags in there. Three bags? Three yeah, bags? Yeah, three. What the fuck y'all doing going through my shit? Oh Who's been my here? Fucking what the fuck y'all doing bro. dressed like that? This is WPRD 98.3 GCOM Radio. This is Noah Phoenix. We are here for the second segment. And, of course, we have the lady in town, L.K. Mason. What's up, L.K.? What's up? Let's get into this. I can't wait. Okay, let's get into it. We have QT Jazz and Lil Shady. So we're going to do a yeah. six-second flash, like in the first segment. And we're going to switch up between uh, QT and, and Lil Shady. Are uh, you ready, Shady? I'm ready. All right, you cannot skip the question. Don't change. <laughs> okay, don't skip. All right, okay. we'll start with QT first. Ready to go, everybody's ready? Okay. Ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay, QT, smoke weed or bake it in a cake? Uh, neither. Okay, fave place to eat? Shady. Oh, Shady, yeah. fave place to eat? Oh, whoever got, whoever cooking the food. Okay, uh, QT, if you were a superhero, what powers would you like to have? Oh, read people's minds, okay? Mmm, Shady, what body part do you like the best? You talking about my body part, or? There you go, brother. My brain. Okay, QT, getting ready in the bathroom, do you pee in the toilet or in the shower? Oh, in the shower, <laughs> Did you answer the question? Yeah. Did, did you not hear her? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that part. Okay, she we'll keep going. Okay. Life, make you feel better. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead. Uh, Shady, weirdest fear. Huh? Weird, weirdest fear. Weirdest fear of my own shadows. 
when I'm, when I'm okay. like, you know, when, when I'm walking in the dark. <laughs> okay, okay, QT, what's the most useless talent you have? Well, I don't know. <laughs> talent is a talent, okay? Okay, and, okay, and last one we're going in, would you, uh, 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 Shady, would you kiss Brad Pitt for $10,000? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, even if it's the breakout role, bro, the breakout role. No, uh, uh, uh-uh. uh, I ain't with all that. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. Okay. oh no, my brother. Ask him on zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, that was cool. All right, um, that was an interesting answer. I didn't hear you, QT. It was my bad, but. <laughs> I was like, huh? What? what? <laughs> okay. I, I guess we'll hear. Everybody that needed complete. to hear me heard me. <laughs> okay. That's mm-hmm. what's up. Okay, that's what's up. So we'll start with um, we'll start with uh with Shady. Uh, name and place of residence. Uh, and we already know that you're Shady. I always say that, but place of residence. Warren City. Okay. All right. So a brief run of your story, your background. How'd you get started? Mm, my background, um, as far as music-wise, I, I, I got into music around age 14, 1996. Uh, just started off really rapping on karaoke machines, and, you know, I, I never really took it serious. But, you know, the people that was around kept hyping me up and was, you know, telling me how good I was. So, I mean, eventually I started writing, getting serious about it, and, you know, I, I was in a group for a few years, but once everybody you know, graduated, they went to college, I didn't, so I had a whole lot of time on my hands, so I mean, I just, I, I got serious with the rapping and started doing my solo thing, and pretty much took off from there. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay, so what projects are you working on now? Uh, actually, I'm, uh, I just finished um, my album, it's gonna be called All Chunk No Duff, um, other than that, I've just been pushing singles left and right. I got, I got a lot of singles uh, on Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, SoundCloud, uh, you name it, 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 it's on there. You know, um, I got a single I just really released uh, not too long ago. It was for my mom. I, I, I named it Mama. And, you know, um, I, I don't hear rappers no more, you know, showing appreciation to their mother. And the only other rapper I knew that did that was Tupac. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you know, mm-hmm. when I thought of the concept of the song, I just I, I really sat and I, I tried to remember since him who has done that, and I couldn't come up with nobody. So I said, I'm gonna do it myself. Mm-hmm. Dear my, it's pretty much like a Dear Mama 2018. Mm-hmm. And it's out right now, right? Let's respect. Yeah. yeah, I got another single called Like It. That's that's out. Uh, like I said on Spotify, Deezer, all that. Um, another one called Never Leaving You featuring my homegirl Turquoise Pew. Um, that's a beautiful love song. You know, like I said, rappers don't show their softer side. And, you know, me, I ain't never had a problem with expressing my feelings or, you know, um, telling hey, anyone I how I, I really that. feel. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you got any questions, that, LK? Excuse me? Uh, 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 Latasha, you got anything you want to throw at uh, Lil Shady? Well, you know, I already know everything there is to know about him, so I was leaving that up to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so I say this. What mark would you like to leave, leave on the industry? Uh, more originality and more real rap. That's that's how I'll, pronounce, or I'll say it. Um... It's too many trends. Too many trends being followed, and, and, and a lot of today's music sound a lot alike. And mm-hmm. it, there's no message in the music anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's 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 beyond rap because I listen to certain R&B songs, and they they come off as love songs, but there there's nothing to the imagination anymore. It gets straight oh, yeah. to the point, freaking nasty, agree. and and it's, it's, the music ain't the same no more. So the mark I would want to leave on the industry is back to being more original, back to being more real, and and, and leave some type of message in the in the in the song. 
Mm. There's mm. no substance in the enemy anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong though. There are there is a lot of good slow songs out there right now, and there's a lot of good rap songs. But the majority of what I hear, it ain't it ain't real to me. So mm. Mm. that's the mark I would want to leave on the industry. Okay, and uh, um, I say, what would you do with a fifty thousand dollar check? That's the first thing you would do. Oh, buy a house. Buy a house. Mm. Buy my mama a house. Buy my sister a house. And put the rest up and, and, and focus on making 100000 next time. <laughs> then mm. 200000 mm. mm. Okay. Take care okay. of my family. Yeah, definitely. 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 So, okay. So, with uh, some of the music that you've left off for us, we leave it up to you and open it up the stage for you to introduce your song. Uh, what do you have for the audience? Uh, my song, Mama. I, I, I really wanted to wait to let anyone hear that, but I, 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 I felt so good about it. I gave goosebumps every time I hear it. It's my single, Mama. Okay. So, uh, all right, QT, you are up. What's up, lady? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So now, a brief run of your story. How did you get your start? Um. Well, I actually got started... Uh, in the entertainment industry when I was about three years old. <laughs> I had one of those moms that was definitely like a mom manager and toted me around to dance class and vocal lessons and piano lessons and all things great and good. <laughs> My mom has a funny story of she saw me dancing in a diaper when I was three years old and she said, well, I better get her some professional training because she looks like she should be wrapped around a pole. So, needless to say, <laughs> it all went well, um, throughout the years, I've gotten the opportunity to do so many great things that are just intertwined with music, whether it's musicals or uh, reality TV shows or scripted TV shows or independent films and stuff like that, and also being able to put out my own music. Um, so just recently, though, I guess this past year has been pretty cool. Um, I got to go on the Great Escape Tour, which was uh, like a 30-city uh U.S. tour and it was completely sold out and I got to dance for Tamar Braxton and you oh, know fantastic. it was my first time being able to be a part of something that big and major you know what I mean to uh, see these people that I've known all my life between Tamar and Candy and Tiny you know to see them sing songs in front of these huge crowds songs that I've always known you know what I mean it's kind of humbling it's amazing and it's also a little um you know, like, sometimes you see other people and you like, you got to restructure your goals. Like, whoa, like. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. What's you? <laughs> um, that was so awesome. We got to go to Jamaica and uh, just really travel as uh, a lot this past year, two years of my life. Um, which Okay, is, so. Me... Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, go ahead. Finish your thought. I was just saying it, it led me to be more inspired traveling did and um create better music new music which i have coming out <laughs> so is there a pressure living up to uh to your mentor's eye on you all, um, all your mentors not necessarily it's not a lot of pressure living up to a certain standard uh because i never looked at them as mentors you know what i mean it was mm-hmm. like the auntie that came over for Thanksgiving or I went to their house. Like, that was the relationship. It never dawned on me that they were, in fact, guiding me indirectly, you know, to the things that I love so much. Okay. Until okay. later. <laughs> okay. So, what's your favorite part about the business and what's the worst? Um, my favorite part about the business is connecting to people, uh, especially young people. Uh, little humans, if you will. And maybe the not so fun part is dealing with people who aren't so good. You know, it's some people that are ugly and um, money driven and just ill spirited. And that's not fun in any industry. In any industry so. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I hear you. Um, I hear you. Uh, okay. Any, any uh, questions you'd like to throw out? You know, actually, I do. And this is going to be for both QT Jazz and Lil Shady. Um, first, I want to know, I have two. Um, and it's for both of you. 
the first question is, if you were to meet God today, what would you tell him that you're most thankful for? Mm, good question. Uh, well, I'll go first. <laughs> I can honestly say I'm most grateful for um, my gifts and talents because I feel like it's been the connecting factor into the, you know, different things in my life. Um, it, it's taken me farther, far past my what words I can say, you know what I mean, the things that I can do. Uh, my talents take me to a universal language, mm-hmm. and I'm most grateful for that. Mm. That I can connect and I feel like I have the um, intuition to be able to connect to many different people in different types of ways. I love it. Mm, 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 mm. Shady? Well, my answer was somewhat similar to Cutie Jazz's. Um, I, I would I would let God know that I'm, I'm grateful for the ability to put words over a beat and watch people's reaction and influence people and make people laugh yeah. and party and cry. Um, it's I've, I've seen it all. powerful about that. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and even when I'm on stage doing a show and you could just see the people who know the w- words to the song and, you know, how the influence they are, it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. And, yeah. um, other than that, you know, I, I would I would let them know that I, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to live the life that I lived, and I'm still living. Mm, mm, no doubt, no doubt. I hear you. Um, all right, QT, uh, please introduce your song that you submitted. For Wait, the show. I said I had another question. Oh, oh. I'm sorry to hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> right. shoot, shoot, so shoot. this question is just to put both of them on the spot because I've been saying for a while, you know, both of them are two of my most favorite people in the world. Um, and I'm sure I'm their, one Thank of their you. favorite people, too. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> but I've been saying that I want a song with them. I want to collaborate with QT Jazz and Lil Shady. So since I got well, both here, when can we make this happen? It's official. Hey, what's, what's going on? This I've week. been wanting this to happen for like two years now. I've been, you Let's know, do it. Okay, I've been, I've been in her ear like, hey, I want to do a song with her. If you can hook it up, please. And you know, I'm glad the opportunity finally then came. I'm with it. Yeah, okay. I think it'd be fantastic. You love it slow. You love it slow, man. I love that. I'm thinking every time I listen to it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, yeah, man. So, ooh, this thing is going off. Uh, yeah, so uh, QT, just leave it off with the song that you submitted to the audience, and uh, we'll go right into it. Yes, yes, yes. This is my new song, my new hit song. No one else has actually heard or played this. Uh, it's your girl, Kiki Jazz, and here is my song, Move. All right, bear it out. Touchdown. Hey, it's your girl, QT Jazz, and you're listening to my new hit song, Move. Just like that, just like that, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. 
It's WPRD 98.3 Chicago Radio. Oh, yeah. Crushing through those speakers and headphones. It's on. Your boy Lil Shady, rapper Warren, Ohio, aka Dub City, aka Murderville. Right now, I want y'all to check out my newest single, Mama, right here on WPRD 98.3 Chicon Radio. So I'm 
for nine months, ten I came. Yes. Name me at the pop, first, middle, and last name. Yes. Short little something with the heart of 20 uh -huh. men. So don't push it to the heads, they gon' need 20 uh -huh. men. Born in Arkansas, yeah. came to the dub. Yeah. Best cooking hands down, raised me to show love. show love. Even when the love ain't being showed back. Taught me how to earn my keep, so when I sleep, I know I earned that. Yeah. It's okay to cry, be a man and stand tall. Uh -huh. Life lessons you taught me, mama, I stand tall. Uh -huh. Through adversity, jail, visits, and hard times. You always kept it 100 and rolled by my side. Praise me when I'm right, scold me when I'm wrong. 14 and had a baby on the way and I was wrong. Daddy flipping out, but you remain cool. Told me it's gonna be okay, we'll make it do what it do. I love you, man. It's 98.3 GCOM Radio. Light em up. Here's another bang, 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 bang. Hey, listen for your ear. Lost Penny Love, y'all ain't been together since 89 and you showed up. Yes. Bedside, wake, funeral, and all, yes. Taught me life is a gift, unfortunately, death. Uh -huh. It's a part of the plan, we all gon' leave soon. I don't ever want you to leave, mama, I need you. You been a mother to so many and they all love ya. I put no one above ya, there'll never be another. I put my life on the line, on the daily. I know I keep you worried about my safety, mama, pray for me. But best believe I stay strapped and on alert. When I don't hear from you, it hurt. When I don't hear from you, it hurt, mama. So never see my struggle, they only see the trouble. You held me down when I was down for that, I always love ya. Wish I can kill your misery and replace it with happiness. Just need your faith in me, I love you, mama. Sweet Lorraine, yeah. Ain't a woman alive that can take my mama's place. What I want to do for your love. You gave me everything, so I won't give up. Sweet Lorraine, yeah. Ain't a woman alive that can take my mama's place, 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 place. DJ Stan the Man, rep in Youngstown, Ohio. Doing it way big. The only DJ can throw it back to the old school. Here's another classic joint popping into a mix. Life while we live at night, life a little different, but a watch where you kick it. It can 
go from bad to worse, so best pay attention. pay attention. Since a youngster, I hung around the older crowd. Good drinks, good vibes, love the older crowd. Shots, shots, and more shots. It goes down in the dub, J and L lounge, my spot. DJ, stand a man, bring them all out. Them all out. Dance slow, stay back till we fall out. We fall Sit out. the bar, maze, Miss Katina, Linda Lou. Linda Lou. Clyde and Donna Vance, Miss Bar 2. DJ, stand a man, bring them all bring out. Them all Dance out. slow, stay back till we fall till out. We fall Sit out. the bar, maze, Miss Katina, Linda Lou. Clyde and Donna Vance, Miss Bar 2. It's just yeah. another day in the struggle, gonna keep on grinding. Blunts rolled up, you know how we vibing. Buying up the bar, taking shots. Yes, we are back here at WPRD 98.3 GCOM Radio. We are in the phone zone, and we have for our third segment, King Kami and little David Ruffin. What's up, y'all? Yeah, yeah, how y'all doing? Okay, that's what's up. So what we're going to do here, a quick 60-second flash Q&A. We'll switch it up. We'll call with you, um, King. And then we'll go with David next and uh, just answer it uh, as quickly as you can. Can't pass the question. You ready, fellas? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. King, uh, who would you hang with, Jay Z or the Pope? Jay Z. Uh, David, if if Jeffrey Dahmer and Donald Trump were both drowning and you could only save one, who would it be? Uh, Dahmer. <laughs> Mm. Scandal how to get away with murder. Tommy. Scan- oh, uh, scandal. Scandal. Okay. Uh, David, fave afternoon activity. Oh, afternoon activity? Uh, uh, basketball. Okay. Tommy, last song you downloaded. Black. Wow. Uh, quick there. <laughs> okay. David, fill in the blank. Kanye West is a good individual. A good um, individual. I, I, a good individual. I, I, All yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kami, go to producer to work with. Uh, Dundee. Okay. David, why can't we tickle ourselves? <laughs> we can. <laughs> and, and last one, Kami, sex is best done. Um, spontaneously. Like what? Spontaneously. Oh, spontaneously. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. That's what's up. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was expecting, but we. <laughs> oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. I'm gonna ask both of y'all this. <laughs> okay, you start it out. Okay, go ahead. I, got, I have a good one. So, if you were getting paid ten million dollars to either a slap your mother or b kiss Flavor Flav, which one would you do? <laughs> Who will go first? Who yeah, what? Who will go first? <laughs> you want to uh, take that first? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I'm going to say it like this. I've always been a poor man. So, you know what I'm saying? I say to heck with the million dollars, I wouldn't do neither. They, somebody else has to be up for that million. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I just say I just stay poor. I just you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even you know, I wouldn't even sign up. You know. I had to read me. You know, I'm sorry. I ain't slap my mom, I respect her, and I ain't kissing for you flip. There it is. There it is. We don't need that million. We need them to get the biggest time else out. She's a nice man, not we, 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 uh, I'm literally in tears. <laughs> we work hard over here. We don't do none of that. Nah, nah, nah. We don't do that. Nah, nah, nah. 
<laughs> okay, so we gonna get into little David Ruffin. All right. Uh, start with you first, brother. So, uh, of course, everybody knows who you are. Place of residence. Oh, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, uh, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. So, tell me a brief story about yourself. How you got started? Uh, well, I've been doing it for for a long time. Um, so, uh, I used to back in the day. I used to run with um, Jam Master J, and then from from there, I ended up meeting my brother. Uh, Kenny Flav, and then from there, uh, we were doing music out in New York, and uh, then I ran into the music here in Detroit, and uh, ever since then, we has been my brother, and uh, we just been doing doing music and doing our thing. You know, we kind of freestyle it, so we just go through it, but we are representing Detroit, 313 area, and doing our thing, okay. as a project out called No Parachute, so I've been focusing on that with him. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, how did you? What projects are you working on right now? Well, right, right now, uh, I might put out an album, but a lot of I'm real spontaneous. So, you know, depending on what's going on, that's how I put out my records. So the album has been pushed back just a little bit, but I do have an album coming out called The Terrible Truth. Um, my brother and I has put together a project called the No Parachute, which he has a lot of major features on, and I'm involved with that heavily. So uh, with those two things, and I'm, I have like two, three singles that I'm dropping and a couple of videos. So it, that'll be leading up to the, the uh, Terrible Truth album uh, when I finally do get a, a date for it, but uh, it's coming soon. But until okay. then, I'll be putting out different, different singles, yeah? Okay. Cool. 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 So when when uh, so what do you think when you, when you're creating a record? Is it uh, just throwing a song together, or do you have a structure to it? I mean, right now I was doing a song. That's why I'm so late chiming in. And my my brother he kind of alleyoops the, the situation to me. So so if he if he got the beat, he have me just come in and, and just vibe out on the on the beat. So whatever I don't really I don't really structure it. It's based on how I feel. So so whatever the, whatever happens when the pen hits the, the paper and starts, that's just what is what is going to come out. How it's going to come out. Okay. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's it, it's just you know chemistry. Okay, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. Um, one trend that you wish never existed in music. Trend. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 okay. When you when you say trend, what do you what do you, fashion trend? Uh, uh, it could be uh, any trend, uh, musical trend, fashion uh, trend. Oh, like yeah, a lot of people use the vocoders. You know uh, the, uh, this, the robot sound. That's a that's a famous yeah. thing that people use. Yeah, but that's I don't I don't I don't um I don't dislike it. I I have used it. I don't use it all the time. Um. Do I like using it? It's not a preference. It's just another tool. Um, back in the day, we made the voice box like uh, Roger uh, had uh, with the tool right. and all of that. You know, just to play around. It's cool to play around with, but, but when you make that part of your 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 whole um, situation, it kind of gets, you know, a little more well, to certain people's ear, but some people are trained. Some people came in to, to listening with that and so they're used to it but I don't use it a lot I don't I don't lean on it but it's not I don't shine it but it's cool okay okay cool 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 and uh, who would you like to work with today that would necessarily be the cream of the crop like say for instance uh, uh, Kanye West but you know who would you like that people usually don't pick uh, to work with uh, I like I like watch the duck uh, um, Nash, I, I go that that route. Okay, okay. Anything out other than that, other than that, outside the box? Uh, that's pretty much my my box. That's outside of the square. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Well, watch the duck. He's out there. Okay. Um, okay. Nash, he's out there too. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, last, what mark would you like to leave on the music? 
I'm sorry, what, what was that? What mark would you like to leave on the music industry with your music? Oh, man. Well, basically, in my music, I'm just telling my story. So um, I feel like, you know, as big as the world is, people can relate to, to your story, whatever story it is. So I'm just trying to get my story out there and enjoy the music with the people that can relate to me, uh, what I'm going through. That's all. Okay. Tight, tight. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Um, mm -hmm. All right. King Kami, what's up, my brother? What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so now everybody knows you as King Kami and your place of residence, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm currently located in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, yeah. tight. So tell me about your story. How'd you get started? Oh, uh, man, well, uh, I know it's sounds cliche. Everybody says the same thing. I've been rapping since I came out of the room, but... I really, I, I, I've been, you know, in tune with music for a long, long, long time. So we started out doing like poetry and stuff like that. But I just didn't, like, I, I, I like sounds, but I just didn't know exactly which, which direction I wanted to go with it. I just knew that I had, I had a, I had a fondness for like music and sounds and instruments and stuff like that. So I stay around like 12, I'm, I'm still young, but around like 12, I started, uh, like really like sitting down, writing songs, trying to come up with uh, like stories and stuff like that. Listening to like old cats like Nas, Biggie, and all that. Even my my dad used to rap, so he kind of put me up in the game as far as you know rapping, introducing me to. And uh, as like I said, from twelve, I just went from there. I remember the first thing that really, really, really stood out to me was uh, it was an opportunity to get on get on stage like my teacher had this opportunity where she she was she used to put together like plays and stuff like that put together little plays for the school and uh basically she was a creative mind behind it and she was looking for a rapper and uh she pulled me to the side and asked me like yeah you know can you do you think you can do it and i'm not the type of person that you know shies away from new things and venturing into new things so that down came up with something and when I did it I got good feedback and from there I just became addicted to you know everything that comes with it along with it so I perform in like the artist just writing you know now how old you know I'm 19 now my birthday is actually October 9th like a week oh okay ago. wow yeah. okay so it's right here okay yeah, cool right here. Sure. like an early so. birthday right here. <laughs> Happy okay, birthday okay. in advance. <laughs> right. Happy birthday in advance, young man. Wow. Okay. So uh, my other question is, what's the first thing you do with a fifty thousand dollar check? Fifty thousand dollar check. Uh, the first thing I do, if it's not already you know taken care of, is make sure I pay all my debt. When I say debt, that's like bills or anything that involves me having to pay monthly or anything like that. That's, that's that because I'm not, you know, to stop. Should I wait any money that I do get after that is generating money, generation of money. Like I can actually spend it on what I need to spend on. So once that's out of the way, then I start right. uh, formulating basically ideas on how can I use the rest of the money to generate more money, whether that's putting it into music, whether it's investing or stocks or whatever it may be, just find the ways that I can. Uh, you know, basically have this little piece of money uh, basically sustain, sustain you further. That's, that's the way I'm looking for. Then okay, once I okay. do that, uh, the last little bit that I may have, but I may, you know, well, not even not, not even the last little bit. I'll probably still put at least five to 10000 up just to, you know, kill me for a rainy day. You just never know what may happen along the way. Right. And then after that, I just go crazy. And, you know, and, 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 not, 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 <laughs> you want to buy the first thing would be a chain. You want to get a chain. That's the first thing. <laughs> That's what a lot yeah. of people have to do. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. They yeah. get the first thing they do is go to get a chain. Uh, well, good thing. Good thing. Now, now, uh, one last question. <clears throat> uh, before we move on, uh, back to music. How do you record today? Is that your boy's place or their studio? Um, it really depends. I, I got two studios that I usually jump back and forth from. 
Uh, one of them is at one of my one of my boys' studios, and one of them is at a professional studio. So it really just depends on what kind of track I'm trying to go for, whether it's a single type of track or whether I'm, you know, making stuff for my album. Then I mean, if I'm doing this for my album, then I mean, it's my boys' trip, then it's more like, it's more chemistry there, you know, I can get more personal. But if it's like a single, then I'll go to the, uh, my other engineer to do the actual, actual studio. And you know, like make sure everything sound good and engineering is top notch or you know, everything like that. Okay, okay. Okay, any questions for yourself? I do have a question. This is going to be for both of you. And Kami, you can go first. Um, what do you think is the dopest collab between um, R&B artists and rap artists? Yeah. R&B artist and rap artist, the dopest collab. Um, look, don't, 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 don't beat me on the head over it. This is the first thing that, that that's coming to mind right now. Uh, J. Cole and Miguel, not just one track, but usually all of the tracks that they collab on is usually like top notch, good, good, good quality stuff. Like it's definitely gotcha. the boxes. Uh, the the, the vocal is never overpowered with what J. Cole is saying and what J. Cole is saying is never overpowered, you know, the vocals and stuff. They usually uh, complement each other well. I used to just vibe to the track and you don't got to really, like, you, you, may, you may hear what they're saying, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't get boring. Like, sometimes when you hear people rapping and rapping and rapping and rapping, sometimes you're like, man, I just want to, I, I don't really want to hear what you're saying. Turn it off, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's, they usually complement each other well, you know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of, I don't know. I just know that the track that they do have come out sounded great. I can dig it. What about you, little David Russell? You said um, R&B and uh, rap player. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I say uh, with SZA and uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So, uh, King Kami, being that you're the last, please introduce uh, the song that you submitted uh, for the show. It's all yours. Uh, oh, cool, guys. I'm sorry. Can you, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Say again. No, I was. I I couldn't really hear. Couldn't really hear. Okay. Uh, being at your second artist here, please uh, present your song that you submitted to the show to the audience. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, all right, so this is basically uh, my newest single that I decided to put out just because, you know, people that are asking for more content. The name of the song is Quicksand. Um, sonically, it sounds new, but if you listen to the lyrics closely, it still stays true to myself, where, you know, putting a little, little, uh, Wordplay in there and uh, showing you that I'm not I'm not mumbling. If you listen to the lyrics closely, but sonically it does sound like something new. Um, this is basically it's not an introduction to Kami, but it's showing my diversity and showing people that you know I can spit, but at the same time I can get you up in your feet too. Love it. All right, fantastic. Thank you to both of you guys, uh, the King Kami and the little David Ruffin. We are in the phone oh, yeah. zone, closing out the third segment to WPRD 98.3. Uh, you guys have been great. Thank you so much to both of you. Thank you, too. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah. All right, folks. Here, check the song out. King Kami. What's good? It's your boy King Kami, and you are listening to WPRD 98.3 GCOM Radio with hosts Nova Phoenix and LK Mason, the hottest internet radio station out now. You don't want to miss this one. With no mains, nigga like what you make it on. Straight to the top, start on this track like I'm spot. Live on the flop, baby be gripping the clock. People at like A's, get up a change, old niggas stuck in their ways. So this so late, clouds in the way, call me, I'm sitting away. Oh, stress on my brain, peace in the farm, me in place. Oh, 
Nobody came, now I'm just drifting with rain. Left on the side like a beaver. Phone in the dirt like the reaper. Bitch, the kid that's a dreamer. Diamond in the rough, no freezer. Hold on, my chest don't froze. So close, friends turned Cobra. Now I'm on G.I. Joe. Talk to my back like I'm Yoda. Always think rich, act po. Can't let them know with the load up. Gotta treat life like poker. Leave them watching, 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 watching. Put them aside and tell them to see what they can. Move with a plan. Never be stressing these lands. Came back with new cadence. Same drip with new fragrance. High speed with no mains. Nigga, life what you make it. Put them aside and tell them to see what they can. Move with a plan. Never be stressing these lands. Came back with new cadence. Straight to the four corners of the earth. What we have here are sonic hangers. No doubt. On the world stage. Woo! Gang, that ain't really what I'm speaking for. For my niggas who was counted out, those are numbers that I reach slow. Remember, people used to put me down, they don't want my teeth to show. No, daddy said, Pippin ain't knees. Game only built for the bit dogs. Everybody can't be feed. Gotta work hard to the lens off. I'ma make it count on TV, even if it's only on the spin off. All in the shower like Mimi, but it's really hard to get the stench off. Off my body, yeah. No more waiting in the lobby, yeah. My people right beside me. Put in the sun, tell them to see what they can. Move with a plan, never be stressing these lands. Came back with new cadence, same drip and new fragrance. High speed with no maintenance, nigga, life what you make it. Put in the sun, tell them to see what they can. Move with a plan, never be stressing these lands. Came back with new cadence, same drip and new fragrance. High speed with no maintenance, nigga, life what you make it.
Hey, this is Lil David Ruffin, and this is my latest single, What You Been Doing, produced by Dub Music. Hey, she say we can go to Canada. Let's go to Canada. I say, babe, I got a felony. She say, so we can leave the country. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Okay, then let's drive out of state then. Where the weather's better than our state is. I say my L's is suspended And I don't know where my core date is She said I don't understand You look like a healthy man If you're willing and you're able Then you should take a stand So what the f*** you been doing? What the f*** you been doing? What the f*** you been doing? Told her I've been raising kids on the fly. Had a breakdown when my mother died. That's my bestie, I can't tell a lie. Had my son off a baby mama lie. I broke down, felt like I was about to die. But my hustle never died, it multiplied. But I'm a different type of nigga customized. So if the blessings don't come, it's no surprise. I spend many moons. Sleeping in the car, in the car, yeah. Under many moons, under many moons. Gazing at the stars, trying to figure out who the f are. I don't know how I made it this far. So she asked so me, what the you been doing? doing? What the Little David Ruffin, and this is one of my latest singles, That's Why We Cry, produced by Dub Music. That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. And I don't know why. She know I got a weakness for a lie. She says she loved me a long time, and she knows that I know that she's a lie. Nice try. That's why we cry. Yeah. And that's why we cry. Surprise. 
that's why And that's why we cry It's WPRG 98.3 GCOM Radio, powered by Lifeblood.com for the global community on the next go round. From right here to your time. Are y'all ready? No. We out.